magic man. Mm-hmm. 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 people you welcome to yet another fantastic episode of the never darling moment with madeline your number uno entertainment tv show i remain your favorite tv girl and today i will be bringing you yet another interesting episode with one of ukraine's finest musicians don't go nowhere i'll be right back after the break what up, what up my people it's your boy paris you already know what time it is then we'll be up in this tell be a gang up in this and yeah, this is the moments with Madeline. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, so you've all come back from the break. And like I said, I have a super talent here in Ukraine that is making Mother Africa proud when it comes to the music industry here in Ukraine. I'm talking about no other person than official La. See. <laughs> okay. Grassi. Yeah. Is that French or what? That's what it is. Okay. You look good. Thank you. You look very, very hot. Ish. I'm lashing. Thank you. Yeah. Your music video, Chocomilo. It's amazing. It's beautiful. I like the simplicity. What's the whole idea behind the whole thing? Well, the basic idea behind it is I have a music titled Chocomilo and I decided to just shoot a low budget video for it. But it really? You call that low budget? Yeah, it is. Okay. A budget video. Interesting. But it's beautiful though. Thank Congratulations. You Thank so, you. how can people stream it? How can people stream it? Yeah. Well, the song is actually out on all social platforms. Okay. You understand? And if you visit my page, like you can always go to the link in my bio. Okay, your page on Find Instagram. The link. Yeah, my yeah, page on Instagram. Official at least. All right, all right. So we want to get to know you. I told my guest that you are one of the most talented artists we have here. Thank you very much. <laughs> we have here in Ukraine making Mother Africa proud. So tell us what's your real name? Well, my real name is Johnson. Okay, Johnson. Johnson O. Johnson O. What's the O? That O is the O. It's <laughs> the O. <laughs> no, for real, yeah, that's it. That's where I like my name to be. Oh, okay. So you don't want us to know. Oh yeah, tell us about your background then. If you don't want us to know your Well name. basically I started from Surulary Lagos. Okay. Then from Surulary to Lautech and then from Lautech to Ukraine. Okay. And yes. you are from a family of how many kids? Uh well I'll keep that private for now. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. All right, so tell us about growing up in Nigeria. How was it like growing up in Nigeria? Well, everybody have everybody would rather say different things about growing up in Nigeria, you understand? Depending on how mm-hmm. the kind of location, your family, the kind of friends, you understand? But, mm-hmm. but are you talking about, are you asking me to tell you about how I grew up in Nigeria or just a general how question? How was the experience? For me, yeah? Yeah, for you growing up well, in I Nigeria. Well, I grew up in... I grew in up your in, neighborhood. Oh, well, my Sir neighborhood is... Yeah, oh my god, I got it! <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you, my neighborhood is... It's one of those very, very low-key... I don't know how to put it. I don't want to call it an AJ, AJ, AJ type, you understand? Okay. But it's a hood, you understand? It's a hood, but a cool one. Okay, cool. so did growing up in that hood have an effect on your personality? It actually didn't have an effect on my personality because okay. I... Basically, didn't stay much in Lagos. Okay. You understand, I was living in the boarding school, then from the boarding school to university, from the university to Ukraine. So basically, I didn't spend a lot of time there. Okay, so when did you come to Ukraine? I came to Ukraine in 2010. Oh, okay. And what was your purpose for coming? Is it purpose to do music or? No, that was not the initial purpose. Okay. I came to Ukraine to study. Okay. Yeah. What program? Mm, aerospace engineer. Okay, so you are done with that? Masters done. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So from what you're saying, you came here to study to be an aerospace engineer. Yeah. I will see you in the music field. I mean, what happened? Well, the thing is, music has always been part of me from time. You know. So 
Okay. And luckily for me, I started to live with guys in something I would call like a hostel. And basically, the two of my friends I was living with were into music. They had music studio in the house, you understand? So I developed my interests further in music through them. So and now I'm like finding my dream my, my, following your dream following my dream in it and i'm enjoying your hobby too i'm enjoying the music too. oh okay so <laughs> do you plan to make this certificate from school well i think only god can answer that okay something probably something for the future you understand all right i can't say about that now. Right. that means you're really into the music thing as you can see so i want to know yeah now you are very big Oh, yeah, you don't know. All right. Yeah, the tycoon from the replay hit maker. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right. I want to know how the journey started exactly. Like, what processes you went through for to become music. yeah for the music. Well, that's a very hard question. Not 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 hard actually, but it's a long process. You understand? Mm -hmm. so I started, yeah, I started making music with guys. You know. I was getting, I was, I was actually using, I was getting like wrong, like, like negative reviews, you understand, from friends when I started, you understand, like from people who are into music, even in Ukraine, you understand, okay. they condemned my music, but the more they condemned it, you understand, the more I wanted to prove to them that mm -hmm. being, being first in it doesn't mean that you can hold the permanent champion position forever, forever. you understand. So I decided to go deeper into it. I got myself studio equipment. I started to do things by myself at home, you understand? And with the help of a few of my very, very good friends, like Cham Summers, and you know, he was there with me. We Shout out to Cham Summers if you're watching. <laughs> yeah, so we basically kick started everything together. And from there, I decided to give myself a kind of branding, just trying to understand the whole procedure, you understand? Mm -hmm. And I grew up with that level, grew up rebranding, rebranding, rebranding. Until, and during this time I was rebranding, I actually didn't have real social media accounts, you understand? I mm -hmm. just was keeping up some stuff until right now. I did. I, I found out that I was ready for the real music right now. So I decided to travel back to Nigeria to go and make Choco Milo. So I basically went to Nigeria because I wanted to make make the song. Mm -hmm. So I went to Nigeria, made shot a video for it, so then came back. So basically that's the journey. Mm -hmm. to, Okay, professional music. Remember. It looked like it was tough. I mean, talking about the negative critics and all of that. Yeah, what yeah, were some yeah. of the critics? Uh, you know, there was a time like I was trying to, you know, in the, the funny thing is, I really didn't know about music. Like the in depth of it, you understand? So I was like, I used to think that when you have a record label, it's like you can just walk up to someone and be like, I want to join your record label, you understand? Mm -hmm. So I walked up to some people, they were like, send me your song, make a year. So I was not sending it to them, like, bro, don't want to, don't like this kind of song that big. You understand? And these were guys that I wouldn't say were looking up to me, but it was just like I was falling my own hand after some time when I realized that it was continuing like that. So I thought, I thought it was actually very difficult because in a country like this, we are supposed to get each other's back. You understand? You see people who are just trying to just pull you down, shadow you somehow, like get out. You understand? Like, you're not up to the standard and all those kind of things. Mm -hmm. So basically, that's how I've been into my music with just one or two people. So basically, what worked for you was the constant rebranding of your yeah, 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 yeah. The constant rebranding. The so what was the first brand of the tycoon like? Can you paint a picture of that for us? Ah, <laughs> the first the, the, the thing is the thing is mm -hmm. I didn't actually give myself that name. Okay. I just had friends who called me tycoon, mm -hmm. and then I made a song that was titled Ajay. You understand? Oh. It's not like I just made the song for like fun. You understand? Okay. So a lot of my friends were like, upload it, upload it. So when they uploaded, people would just be like, Ajay Taiko, Ajay Taiko. So I decided to just use my that name on my IG. You understand? Okay. Yeah. All right, guys. We're having a very interesting conversation here. I'll be right back with the next part of the interview. Stay tuned. What up, your favorite boy? We are K to the T O H. Keep watching the moment with Martin. You're done, no? Stay tuned. We're done, no? What's the mood you Yo, what up, my people? It's your boy, David Doyle. You guys are now watching A Moment with Madeline. Make sure you don't touch that down. We'll be right back. God bless you. Obi, you. Rewind up. You welcome back from the break and you are still watching the number uno entertainment TV show with your favorite TV girl, Madeline. 
I just had coon. Did you miss me? So who will miss you? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, so let's continue from where we stopped. All right. I mean, you're one of the most talented and intelligent writers when it comes to music here in Ukraine. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> when, what inspires your lyrics? My lyrics? Yeah. Hmm. Actually, it's a very difficult question because my lyrics just actually just comes. Mm -hmm. They just come, depending on my vibe, depending on my mood. Depending on the kind of instruments, how you understand, I just know what to work with, and I and I try to figure out what is trending, and I try to set my own pace. You understand, and I try to make it a little bit different from what people are actually listening to. Okay, yeah, I understand. I mean, you've been in the industry for quite a very long time, and you're still very, very relevant. What is that distinctive thing that makes you stand out to date? Well, I would say it's always trying to be myself. That makes me stand out you understand mm -hmm. it's basically that nothing because we have a lot of beat makers that are making classic beats that we can really do beats you understand but then the lyrics matters and then the lyrics come from your personality who you are so i would say i'm my own inspiration okay so basically that and so that that's what makes you stand out i think so i believe so <laughs> okay, coming to Ukraine, like I said, you are one of the most talented artists that I knew of. And looking at the quality of videos and works that you put out there, I was thinking by now I'll be walking on the streets of Ukraine and I'll be seeing Ajit Tycoon everywhere. I'll enter the shops, I'm hearing Ajit Tycoon's music being played and all of that. But that seems not to be the case. What's, what's going on? Well, you also just said walking on the street of Ukraine. Okay. You know, Ukraine is not. A place where Afro beat is like Afro fusion is really really celebrated, especially when you when you are doing something more of Afro pop. Okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. Like some kind of hip hop will still try and understand. But mm -hmm. actually, it's just here that you don't see that. If you visit Nigeria, you would hear my songs on radio stations all oh, the time. So you are doing more of the promotion, promotion in Nigeria, Nigeria yeah. not in Ukraine. Exactly. Oh, okay. So how's that going? It's going well. I have my very solid team behind me in Nigeria, so. They're doing. They're putting on. They're putting in a lot of work for me. So what about we, the Africans that are in Ukraine? Why are you neglecting us? No, I'm not neglecting Ukraine. My okay. black people in Ukraine because okay. we are basically all mm -hmm. from my own view. That I'm not neglecting. So why are you not promoting your music to get into our heads here in Ukraine? Ah uh, well, the thing is, I have friends in Ukraine, and I have people who know me in Ukraine. You understand? Mm -hmm. Maybe they're not enough. I um, mean, probably most are students, you understand, okay. and basically busy with um, studies and all that, you understand. But mm -hmm. then they still know, they still, they still hear the name, they still hear the music, you okay. understand, and that's enough for me for now. When when things will go, well, okay, yeah, another big bomb explosion. And then you also made mention of the fact that you kept rebranding and rebranding. I mean. When I first knew you, you were at the Tycoon, then Johnson O, now your official like Grace. Do you think or do you believe that has had a positive or negative impact on your whole career? No, actually it hasn't affected my it has not affected my career at all. Really? Personally, I was looking for you on Instagram some time ago and I couldn't find you. Yeah, it's possible. Because you changed your name. Yeah, it's possible. The thing is, the thing is, when I started doing music, you understand, mm -hmm. basically most of what I was doing was, I was singing and I was putting it out there. I was trying, trying to gather to much review as much as possible, you understand. Okay. It's working in my music, my lyrics and my personality, you understand what I mean? So, mm -hmm. basically, now I'm on official like Grace and right now before if you check if you search for my music on online before you understand you might not even find them on so on big social platforms you understand yeah. that's basically because i wasn't putting a lot of work into the promotion as i was very very sure that i wasn't professional i wasn't working professionally at that time i wasn't ready for the professional stuff at that time but right now i'm ready for the professional stuff you'll find my artist profile verified in most places like on most music social blogs you so understand? you are ready for the market well, we are, ready, we are in the market already. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. So tell me, what are some of the challenges you face here in Ukraine as an artist? Uh, well, the thing is, personally, I'm not facing challenges in Ukraine oh as an artist. Oh, no. It's yeah. it I'm not facing, I'm not facing 
no challenge at all because really i have my i have my friend champ summers he, he owns a studio i can basically walk in in the night and day anytime just to go and make music you understand so and i have my team of beat makers in nigeria so and we are all connected like in love so anytime i call on them they're always there you understand so, so everything is going smooth for you well as you can see everything is fine on my side i'm happy i'm, I'm happy as everything is going wow. I'm happy and with that's it. all due to an awesome teamwork right yeah 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 okay yeah. interesting congratulations thank you very much <laughs> okay i saw you got signed to one ukrainian record label some time ago or oh, it wasn't no that was not okay a record label it was like a rec uh, like a promotion deal oh okay. yes it was a promotion deal so and that was just for just one song just one song just that song you know, it, you know i told you i was branding myself you understand mm -hmm. i wanted to see how things are working with the promotion here but basically the way i've seen it i've gotten to realize that it's just better for me to just promote my song just by myself with my cool team you understand getting external external people to work for me like it's not actually giving me what i want you understand mm -hmm. it's not giving me what i want it's not like what i expected so it's still part of the it, that's still part of the um branding okay. rebranding yeah. and why why did that happen is it because they were ukrainians and you were focusing on more of the yeah ukrainian basically the thing media? is that basically the thing is that they, they will tell you that we will help you promote your music or put your music on this place on that place here and there you understand because yeah, i saw you in a couple of interviews right yeah 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 but basically i'm not getting what i want from it you understand mm -hmm. it's not really motivating me enough you understand so okay. i had to just cut it just to i had to just leave it on just one track okay yeah all right that's nice so what's next for you like the next immediate two years what what are your plans oh next immediate two years well mm -hmm. i'll leave that to god but i'm hoping for more successes and to go bigger in my music you understand okay yeah. so would you advise a young kid that is coming from africa or is probably watching the show in africa having dreams to come to ukraine to chase their dreams even yeah. though they are coming here to it depends study. on the dreams they are coming here to chase you know most people come here to study right exactly mm -hmm. so, just like myself okay so would you advise they take the path you took like maybe if they have a talent would you advise yeah yeah them yeah, the yeah, yeah that's true yeah that's true i would anybody who has a dream must should follow his or her dream okay. you understand so i would advise anybody to take the chance you understand because you don't know what it you don't know what it is but basically doing what makes you happy is i think is the only way out okay yeah that's what i think okay and one last thing i would like to know right. is music paying the bills well music is paying bills too oh yeah yeah it's paying bills Ah, yeah. Is that why you've been gallivanting in all the restaurants in Kiev? Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> the thing is, because I see, I see you in almost all the restaurants in Kiev. Like you are making videos, you are eating. I mean, you are living lavishly. Uh, no, 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 no. I'm not living lavishly. <laughs> <laughs> let's, man, let's, man, that's what's being portrayed let's, out there, let's, really. Let's be guided. You know, here okay. the food just looks beautiful. Mm -hmm. It makes you feel like. It's a lavish life. It's not a lavish lifestyle. Okay. You understand? It's just a normal lifestyle. Like you should go out to have fun, mm -hmm. enjoy what you want to eat. You know. And then make videos and put out there. The, the, okay. The funny thing is that the funny thing is that you won't even believe that most of this, most of the cafes I used to go to, I realized that every time I make, every time I just go there to eat, I make some videos and I just post it and then I tag them. They always like repost send me messages like thank you very much and all that so that's ah, so you just... send instagram influencer uh, you have not even seen my tiktok yet <laughs> 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 all right i just i could yeah. it was nice having you on the show thank you but before you too. go tell us how, how do we find your music generally everywhere well you already know my official name that's mm -hmm. official address so you just put that on google and you find me everywhere. we have everything of yours, you right? Find me everywhere. I wish you the very best with Thank everything you, you want to do. Thank you very but much. But you know we're not done yet. We have the basket of love coming up next. Okay. <laughs> so stay tuned, guys. All right. Hi, fam. It's about Capella K. The Dollar Remix. Come on, wait a moment. It's a moment with Madeline. Keep it locked down on this guy. You want to know what's going on? Check a moment with Madeline. Zaga, 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 zaga. You walk.
welcome back from the break and this is my favorite segment of the show the basket of luck segment are you tycoon are you ready for me who will not be ready for you um, okay let's go you know how it's done right you pick know. a question number from okay. here okay. and then like i pick a question i just pick yes there are questions here numbers so you just pick one okay, okay? and then you With tell me which yeah. number yeah and then i would read the corresponding question to uh, no you bad too. Mm, no right. bad no bad i like picking things you know you know i'm picky picky okay 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 all right i'm picking two question number two yeah okay I, I know this is going to be very simple for you because you like food. Exactly. Now I know it's going to be very, very hard. <laughs> Don't trust me. What's your favorite dish? Oh, seafood. Thank seafood. you very much. Yeah. Do you know how to make it? I don't know how to make it. Oh, really? No, I don't know how okay. to make it. Okay. What's your favorite local dish then? Local dish? Mm -hmm. uh, I like a bar. A bar? Yeah. And what soup? I like a widow. A widow? Yeah. Briefly, in one minute, describe how to make a wedu. A wedu, you know, you just get the leaf. I don't, I don't know what the leaf is called in English, but then it's a wedu. You know, you just get it and then you just try to match it a little bit, boil water, and then use the broom stuff and you just match it very well. And you can add some little bit of a goosey into it and so kind of some kind of low cost bean, you know what I mean? So you just put it If you are scamming me, my viewers will let me know. Now, well, they should tell you. Of oh, course, you know I'm not Nigerian. I don't know what well, a way do is. Well, at least now you know. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Next question. Ah, you just won now. Ah, who told you? Three questions. You have you have two more to go. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. We'll pick another one. Pick white paper now. Ah, this one is. Sorry. <laughs> Just pick any of them here in your okay. bed. Yeah. <laughs> this one is one. Question number one. Yeah. Okay, this is actually interesting. Mm -hmm. How would you tell your partner yeah. that she has mouth over? Yeah, I would call her and tell her that she has mouth over. That's the only way. Like you call a babe. Yeah. Like do it, do it. Like assume that she's here. Hey babe, don't, Just you, imagine. don't you think we should go for a checkup? Like you actually have mouth odor these days. I don't know what's going on. Should we check it up? Oh wow. It's cool. No, no, it's deep. Okay. No, I'm a very straightforward person. You understand? <laughs> okay. I like to just hit. You know, for you, for you to be my babe, first of all, you must be understanding me already. Mm -hmm. You already know that I'm not that type, that type of guy who will be like, I want to go and buy her toothpaste. Mm -hmm. I want to go and buy her mouth spray. You no, know, all those kind of things don't work. So okay. you just go to the point so that we can always have an understanding. Okay. All right, that's cool. Last yeah. question. Oh. Three. It's like ah, it's like a setup. It's like one, two, three. This is number three. Ah, the okay. first one I picked was two, one. I'm not the one doing the picking here. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. So question number three. Mm -hmm. mm, yes. Which of these artists are you likely to have a collaboration with? Which of them? Mr. Flo, mm -hmm. Jeffrey, mm -hmm. and Soldier Kelly. Which of them are you likely to have a collaboration with? I'd rather have... I've not heard Jeffrey's song, unfortunately. Okay, that's, that's okay. But I've heard um, Soldier Kelly's song. Okay. I kind of like his vibe. Okay. Because he's not, he's doing something a little bit different from my, from what I'm doing. You understand? So I would rather go for a collab with him. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can the previous two? You don't know their names. I just told you I'm going to go for a collab with Soja <laughs> Kenny and the previous two. Okay. Yeah. I've heard you. Yeah. Are you gonna bless us with some tunes before you go? Because this is your last question. Are you serious? Yeah, just something small for the viewers. Show them how talented you are, I mean. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Give no. us a line from Choco Milo. From Choco Milo? Yeah. It's, it's okay. currently the trending song, you know. You know I'm picky, picky. Okay. And your booty is ticky, ticky. Okay. And the clock is ticking, ticking. Okay. When I call you on the phone, baby, picky, picky. I'm going to pick your call, darling. You know. <laughs> You don't want to miss my call. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It was right. nice having you on the show. Thanks for coming.
coming. You're welcome. Thanks for having me here too. All right. So guys, like I told you, you see how talented he is. And the interview was a bomb if you ask me. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on all my social media platforms. Till we see you again. It's bye for now. What's up? It's your boy Magnus, aka your girlfriend's best friend. And keep watching the moment with Madeline. Don't touch that guy. Oh shit, gang. Hey, you're the devil, 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 you're the devil,